Hello YouTube, this is an Ace Preview, and I'm having a look at Plague Inc. Evolved. This is a game that originally came out on mobile, and now they're releasing it on PC, it seems. This is actually an early access, surprisingly. The reason is because they're planning on adding new features to the PC release. For example, they intend to release multiplayer support for this game at some point. So what is it, though? Well, it is a game where you play as a disease, and you first try to infect and then wipe out all of humanity. Boy, what a happy and cheery concept for a game, huh? Actually, it's a pretty good title right now. For an alpha build, the game runs butter smooth without any noticeable hiccups or glitches. The game offers a reasonable amount of strategy. It's not a simulator by any stretch. People don't build immunity on their own, for example, and they also don't get well on their own without the cure. That is a short list of some of the reasons why this isn't a simulator, but it is a pretty addicting game nonetheless. Expect to sink quite a bit of time into this one, despite how simple and short it actually is. I'll add that artistically, the style here is reminiscent of Defcon, complete with its own horrifyingly appropriate soundtrack. It was clearly built for gamers who enjoy an extremely dark themed game. There are, however, some issues with balance, especially for specific types of diseases. For example, the zombies disease is just too difficult in my opinion. For this one, the game gives you the ability to move zombies from one country to another, but there are three problems with that. First, this basic ability only seasons a handful of zombies, for example, a horde of six zombies around in a game that deals with billions of people. You need to sink a considerable amount of DNA, which is this game's research points, into it just to make it very useful at all. And then, secondly, it takes four DNA points just to use it adding more to an already expensive system. And lastly, the zombies only go to an adjacent country for the most part. They'll travel the ocean, but if you have one country between the zombies and where you need them, you're going to have to use this ability twice. Since this is still an alpha, I'll make a suggestion here. Change the ability to instead act as a beacon, drawing any zombies from neighboring countries, regardless of number. The zombies in countries that still have healthy people would stay put for gameplay reasons. But, I would suggest that if you're going to upgrade this ability, have it affect zombies that are farther away with each upgrade. These things should help improve that mode of the game and balance it out. I know it's a short video, but there isn't really many things that can be said about this game. It's fairly straightforward. All things considered, though, it is a good title. I recommend it presently. And with the ideas that the developers have for it, I'd expect people to be talking about this game for a long time after it's released.